What is DevOps and what is CI and what is CD? This is a super common question in technical interviews. And if you answer this with, DevOps is a cultural change where you merge development team and operation teams that enables you to do rapid development and deployment, it's not good enough. In this short video, we are going to go over the DevOps phases and the exact difference between CI and CD and some of the data points you should mention in your interview DevOps questions. All right, guys and girls, let's get started. These are the four phases in DevOps in the software development and deployment lifecycle. Source is when you check in your source code to a repository. Build is the code is compiled, unit tests are done, and artifacts are created. The example of artifacts are say, a zip file for Lambda, or a jar file, or a war file. Then the next phase is testing, where integration tests with other systems are done, load testing is done, UI tests are done, penetration testing is done. And the next phase is prod, where your code is deployed to production environments. Okay, so uh, from writing the code and checking the code to build is termed as continuous integration. So continuous integration is a software development practice where developers regularly merge their code changes into a central repository, after which automated builds and tests are run. The automated part is the key here, guys. The key goals of continuous integration are to find and address bugs quicker, improve software quality, and reduce the time it takes to validate and release new software updates. Next is continuous delivery. Continuous delivery is a software development practice where code changes are automatically built, tested, and prepared for a release to production. It extends upon continuous integration by deploying all code changes to a testing environment and or production environment after the build stage. But not this get it checkpoint. What does this mean? This icon represents manual checkpointing. So even though everything is automated, someone, especially someone in admin role, needs to click a button to deploy the changes to production. And when there is no manual intervention needed, we call it continuous deployment. So as you can see, it goes one step further than continuous delivery. With this practice, every change that passes all stages of your production pipeline is released to your customers. There is no human intervention and only a failed test will prevent a new change to be deployed to production. Continuous deployment is an excellent way to accelerate the feedback loop with your customers and take pressure off the team as there is not a release day anymore. Developers can focus on building software and they see their work go live in minutes after they have finished working on it. So these three terms are very important, continuous integration or CI and continuous delivery and continuous deployment, also termed as CD. So all that sounds fancy. But let's take a closer look at why we need DevOps and see if data supports it. So I urge you to think these two questions. How long would it take your organization to deploy a change that involves a single line of code? Is it seconds? Is it minutes? Is it hours? Or is it days? And can you do this deployment on a repeatable, reliable basis? According to Puppet 2017 State of DevOps report, the organizations which adopt DevOps have four times lower change failure rate, 24 times faster recovery times, 200 times more frequent deployments, and 44% more time spent on new features and code compared to their non-DevOps counterpart. So these are pretty significant numbers. So we could say DevOps is really necessary in today's software development. If you like this video, and if you think this video is helpful, uh, then please like, subscribe, all that uh, YouTube stuff. I have a bunch of other videos on deep dive on AWS services, uh, comparisons, pros, cons, also uh, switching career to AWS. Uh, all right, guys and girls, that's the video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.